hi guys welcome back to my channel today i am actually just putting up all of my thingies here into the new book i got for miniology it's like a binder to store your plates in i already had one i'll show you what i was using because i forgot to check it and see if there were any in here this is from born pretty and it was pretty cool but i will say it's hard for me to to get in and out of here when it's full but also all of these are pretty much waste because i don't have any little plates so i'm hoping this will be much easier to get them in and out of And I'm an organizer freak, so anything that has tabs <laughs> is, of course, going to draw my attention. Alright, so the cover says, Believe in Yourself. flip through here real fast so you can see. I didn't do my nails today because I knew I would be getting into all of this stuff and mess them up. Alright, so I don't remember how many of these there are. I didn't come very well informed, but let's get to cleaning. I don't know whether you can see the plates or not. This one. Oh, this looks like the Harry Potter one. You know, it's really funny because I bought this one. There must have been something. Oh, there's bats on here, I bet. I bet I wanted the bats. But then when I got it, I realized it had a bunch of Harry Potter stuff on it. <laughs> or oh, the owl. Maybe that's what I was probably after. Anyway, yeah, some of these I just have for one, one little thing. I'll admit it. I'm sure this is not the most interesting of videos, but I need content for my channel and I know this isn't true for everyone, but it is true of me. This is exactly the type of thing that I would be laying in bed watching at night while I have insomnia. Like I end up watching the dumbest things. <laughs> Ain't gonna lie, I should probably be cleaning the back of these because, yeah, I just noticed I have polish everywhere. I had plastic on both sides. Oh, <laughs> uh, yeah, I really do end up watching people clean clean their house. Like well, I'm just laying on my butt doing nothing. I watch a lot of ASMR videos too. I thought these would be a lot dirtier than they are, so I guess I haven't been doing as bad as I thought.
Anyway, if anybody needs to know, I'm using acetone to clean these. Fingernail polish. I actually have some. I'll show you what happens if you try to use fingernail polish. I don't know if it'll work since they're not really that dirty, but hopefully you'll be able to see the difference. a dirty dirty one no oh, this one's not looking too good all right so if we use fingernail polish first of all it really doesn't come off well you gotta scrub and scrub to get down in those cracks Is it not doing it? Anyway, usually it just kind of smeared. After it dries, it becomes really cloudy. Like it never gets shiny. Um, I don't know if you can tell that there's still, there's still black in all of that, even though I went over it. So, this just works so much better. Yeah, that came right out. You see? And my kids are home from school and they're upstairs. So I apologize if that is something you were listening to. <laughs> Well, I guess since I'm sitting here, I could give you a little update on my store. There are currently spring wax melt sample boxes available. I think I only have like eight left or so. Oh, I just realized the camera is against the table. I hope I haven't been shaking you guys this whole time. Anyway, yeah, I think there's only around eight left, so. Uh, but then the, the wax itself will be released on March 1st. I actually love these things. I got these at the Dollar General. I was using these, but I can tell you I definitely love these more. <laughs> so me and Caden made a bunch of Hecate uh, rosary or prayer bead type things um, I put them on my store on my Etsy shop and then like the next day they were gone <laughs> which is a good thing it's a good thing but now I need to go get more and, and make some more so I apologize to anybody who saw those and wanted them I only had well I have seven I had five Hecate ones and two Lilith ones. And, yeah, I really wasn't expecting them to just disappear in a couple hours.
The Lilith ones are still there. And I, of course, want to make a Morgan one, but I haven't really found a good... A good symbol or sigil for hers yet. Everybody had a good Valentine's Day. <coughs> I didn't do anything. One person told me happy Valentine's, but, uh, yeah, that's it. <laughs> so, it, technically, the only person that said they loved me or even got me anything, because she did send me uh, the cutest little short video was April Funk, <laughs> so I guess she's my valentine. I was going to make a video for valentines of a love, a love spell drink, but it snowed so much here and it's like in the negative degrees my car doesn't want to start so I didn't ever go out and get all the stuff I needed to do that. some purple on that one. And stuff like this completely relaxing. This is way better than working. <laughs> if I could just sit and do this all day, that would be right. But I've actually been making candles, which if I was a, a better a business person, I would have actually promoted the candles for Valentine's Day because I do make like, um, well, I make whatever I can out of wax. I mean, I think that's just good business, right? So if I already have the wax here, I may as well do whatever I can. So since I already make wax melts and some of my own candles and, you know, spell candles and stuff, I also just decided to do like some wax play candles. And yeah, I didn't even mention them for Valentine's Day. So, but I don't really need to, I guess. I actually sell a ton of those. oddly enough to other countries <laughs> so maybe you guys can tell me why are the Chinese people buying wax play candles from my Etsy shop like like I know their, their rules and stuff are kind of strict but like surely they can buy candles there it just seems like a lot of shipping to pay I don't know I'm confused that wasn't the only one. I can't remember where the other candle went to, but yeah, I was out of the country. Wait, 
these are dirty. And now it's got gold all over it. Last one. It's pretty dirty. Ooh. Those are clean. I don't know whether this is. Oh, that's on my table. <laughs> yeah, this is my work table, so it's just always going to look bad. Alright, time to put them in. I actually did put some water in the fish tank, you guys. <laughs> Like I said, for those that were probably concerned of me not putting water in it for a month and it was starting to sound pretty bad, there are no fish in there. So I, I wasn't torturing anything. It's just a turtle. <laughs> All right, let's do the witchy stuff. I think up front because I definitely use those the most. Hopefully this is in the frame. So this is Christmas. Maybe we'll put the seasonal stuff in the back. And this is my beloved Freddy. <laughs> and I'll be using that one a lot. There's more Jack Skellington. Double sided, that's good. This is Edgar Allan Poe. Yeah, this is an example of one I was talking about that I really only have for like one design which I don't know whether you can see it or not but that right there is the whole reason that I bought this one horror. I guess we'll keep the horror stuff together. There's just a bunch of bones and eyeballs on that plate. This one's kind of like a piratey. It's got some dragon stuff on it, but again, I probably got it for this one image. like fairies. I 
I don't think I'll need that one much either. This one has my favorite image on it. And again, mostly got, well, I, I get anything that has skulls. So there's actually two skulls on here. It's not completely worthless, but like my favorite one ever, I don't know if you can see it or not. It just says, eat me. <laughs> if you ever look at my nails, that's probably on at least one of the 10. that's not really witchy we should have a skull page this is the tarot tarot i don't know why i bother correcting myself you guys know i'm not gonna say it right yeah i i use this one just because it says moon child uh, stay wild That's pretty much all I really use it for. <sighs> but I do put it on the witch nail, so I guess I'll keep it up here in the front. And we have Little Red Riding Hood. I don't think I'll need that one a lot. Well, people usually go for the Ouija, the tarot, and like the, the witch nail. Alright, so let's put the skulls right here. And that looks like all of them, so I still have. Oh, goodness, quite a lot of room. Probably at least 25 to 30 more open spots that I can buy more plates if I want to. But I usually only buy the ones I know I'm going to be able to use. I don't really collect them all because, yeah, I'd probably need a couple books if I did that. <laughs> anyway, I hope you enjoyed the video. I am... I think I'm going to try to record a few videos because I need to do this again for the third time i said i was gonna do it and i did i i did it multiple times this will be my third time trying but i am really struggling with the ipad because since it doesn't since i can't see i mean it's literally facing away from me i never know whether i'm even on the screen and so the first time i was holding the cards like way up and the camera couldn't see them and the second time i held them way down and the camera couldn't see them <laughs> uh hopefully i get it right this time anyway have a good day you guys